Layla just made me a sandwich. She's brought in here. Yeah. It's super smashed. Um, <laughs> it's, got some, it's got some meat on there, okay. you know? <laughs> it's made with love. It's made with love and it's delicious. <laughs> I like love sandwiches. Those are good. <laughs> but today we're watching The Catch a Predator, watching The Man Bun Predator. <laughs> I don't know why that cracks me up. I feel like, you know, just about everyone with a man bun is a predator in some way. <laughs> I should watch what I say because my hair's getting long. I'm going to have one of those. I got full on ponytail, okay? This is full on ponytail right here, right? I don't want to judge. Okay, okay, okay. I'm kidding. If you have a man bun, you got bigger problems than that. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Let's get to it. I'm, just, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Back at the house, 23-year-old Satinder Thind is pulling up in a fancy infinity coupe. He's a loan <laughs> consultant. Bro, <laughs> is, that, is that the man bun? Oh, my God. He's got that thing tight up there. God. That thing can't breathe. That is just... On the head. All right. <laughs> Consultant and lives in Long Beach, just about a mile from our undercover house. This dude lives right around the corner. Oh. Jeez. All right. In his online chat with a decoy who says she's 13, Thind asks what sex acts she's performed. Oh, he also boy. says he's concerned about her. You <laughs> Look at this. He's concerned <laughs> about her. Look at that. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. The, the man bun. I was thinking about a whole different thing. What? What is this? Is this a man bun? Ah. Uh. A man not. I don't know. A, man, a garlic man knot right there. <laughs> you know, girls can't really process the emotion of sex till after 16 at the earliest. But later. Huh? Okay. Uh, can't really, you can't really process the emotions. You're too young. You're too young. But later, Thind asks the girl if she wants to have sex. And he seems to be well aware that sex with a 13-year-old is against the law. <laughs> That's illegal, he says. Yeah. Yes, it oh, is. <laughs> A lot of things are illegal. Just got to keep myself out of jail, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But in the end... <laughs> here he comes. Got to keep myself out of jail. Busting the door. But in the end, Thin says he wants the girl to perform all acts on him and that he'll perform other sexual acts on her. Okay. All right. So here's the here's the man bun. There there it is. And all of its, all of its glory. Yeesh. Man. This is the closest I've seen one of the decoys in a long time. Yeah, she, well, she like backs away from him like she's panicking when she, he comes to the door. He's like, hey, she's like, ah, ah. This is your hot tub. Yeah. This is the hot tub, but I'd like you to sit right over there. Oh, 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 oh. Krista blew this man one out. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Chris is like in his face. He's like, yup, yeah, I need you to sit right over there. You're not getting the hot tub. Pour yourself a drink. We got Kool-Aid over there. Why did you come here tonight? Just, just to see her? Just to I'm just still looking at this man bun. Yeah, and his hairline. It literally leads to the base <laughs> of the bun. Just the one side of it, though. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> it's like he's got a nice line with mm. the chin strap, but then he just like left it all alone yep. when he came to the forehead. You know, he just yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. It's, it's real clean. You know, got the even like on the mustache part. It's like it's like shaved up the lip yeah. a little bit. Like it, it, some top grooming into this. Went to the hair, you know. Went to the barber shop. Got lined up. Then he's like, "All right, yeah, my hair just just messed me up." You know, he said, "This is an onion. I want to look like that." Why did you come here tonight? Just to see Carly. Carly. And how old is Carly? Thirteen. Thirteen. And how old are you? Twenty-three. You don't see a problem with that? I do see a problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's aware. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah I do. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, I do. At least, at least he knows her name. Half, I think, is this the first time we've watched one of these where they actually know what the decoy's name is? Just about. He'll be like, who'd you, who'd you come to see tonight? Uh, that girl. Her? Oh, yeah, how, how, how old is she? You know, yeah, that girl over there. Who, who, I don't know. What, what was her name? Huh? You just came to say hi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. in your conversation on the internet, you talk about more than just coming over to say hi. That wasn't my intention. Mm. <laughs> Talk a big game, you know, but I mean, I'm just here to see the hot tub, you know. <laughs> Get some Kool-Aid. Watch the game. You know, you got the game on TV right now. Yeah, I'm just here to watch some football. Oh, I have the conversation. Oh, we got you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah, you got that. Mm. Mm. All right. Oh, ouch. Ouch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trying to say maybe you shouldn't have sex. But then it transitions into, well, if you're going to have sex, it might as well be with me. That's kind of what you're suggesting no. here. No. No. <laughs> no. Are you sure? Because I mean, mm. uh, <laughs> we're. Might as well be me. If it's going to be somebody, you know, might as well be me, I guess. I mean, I'm here, <laughs> you know, I'm a mile away, you know. Might, might as well be me. In my might, top might as well be, you know, somebody's got to go to jail. Might as well be me. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's like, you know, my, my, it could be just nobody. Uh, no. Not at all. I wouldn't know. No, never. And you say, yep, I knew it. You're a horny little 13-year-old girl. Oh, God. You say, I'm going to 
Oh, oh I say that a lot. That's, oh. You say that a lot. <laughs> You say, yeah, that's, that's like my catchphrase. You know, I just go around. I'm, I'm going to lick you, you know. It's, it's <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm going to lick you. Yeah, see you. See this? See it work, Friday, you know. <laughs> I'm going to lick you. You say that a lot to 13-year-old girls? No. She kept insisting that I come over. So a 13-year-old girl controls your life? No. So you see, what you're saying then doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so it's her fault. Is that what you're saying? Buddy, shoo, Chris about to take off that. Uh, oh, he's got the nice shoes on, too. He's about to take that off and smack him <laughs> the head. Please. And like some of the others, he also says he's here not for sex, but out of concern for the girl's welfare. Mm. Oh, yeah. he's here. Yeah. Oh, thank citizen. God he's here. If my parents aren't here. You should come over so you can not tell them that you're concerned and, you know. Yeah. <sighs> You know, I was just thinking of like if they were concerned, like what how what would they actually do? Would they like show up with a transcript themselves and be like, <laughs> "Look at this dirty stuff I was talking to your kid about," and they they were into it or something like that? You know, no. Right. Anyway, so you expect me to believe that you came over here just to check on the locks on the doors? No, I came to check to make sure she's okay and she's to say okay. hi. I still have some place to go right now, so and I just came to stop by for a minute. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, yeah. get, you know, I gotta, I got things to do, man. You know, I gotta, <laughs> whoo, gotta. Get on back, to you know. Heading soon. Uh, out of here. <laughs> Where are you going next? I'm going to my parents' house. Your parents' house. Mm -hmm. I just think about. It. I hope they tase this guy. Oh. <laughs> and like the knot just explodes. Oh like, my god. <laughs> or maybe it lights up like a light bulb. That That'd would be, cool be tight. Too. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Mm -hmm. We're doing a story on adults. Oh yeah. Who try to meet kids online mm -hmm. for saying if there's anything else you want to say to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love the. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, there's the hairline from the other side, Dan. Oh, man. They, 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 were, <laughs> they were hitting him on the good side, you know? Oh, that's why. They were helping him out. He walked into the barbershop and was like, hey, bro, hit me with that chin strap and then the Tetris, all right? They hit me with the Tetris up top. <laughs> Can you notify? Let me know if it'll be on or not. Um, if you give me a call. Okay. All right. Let me get your card. Uh, wow. I have a card with me, but I'll write down the number. <laughs> well, that's cool, bro. Let me know what episode I'm on. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, dude. Shoot. That's I'm going to be famous. Cool, All right. Man. Let me know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chris is like, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take my card. Call me, I guess. Just kidding. You'll be in jail. Don't call me. <laughs> Outside, the Long Beach police are ready to give him another number. A case number. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave up. You know, he, he didn't get tased. Unfortunate. Oh. Sad day. It looks like they go and find like a case. But what has the police more concerned uh -oh. is the fact that he has a legally registered gun in the trunk of his car. A legally? Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ill not not an illegally. Right. Illegally. Yeah. I mean, That's I'm not gonna hold this one too much against them because it's like pretty locked right. away. You know, they're living in a fantasy world. They have this fantasy of having sex with a child, and you don't know how far they're gonna take that fantasy. They were making a really big deal about the guy. I mean, I don't know. I mean, of course you say, oh, he's got a gun. He could have, like, you know, done all this stuff. But it's, like, locked away in his trunk inside of a case, inside of right. a bag. Chances are that's for whatever else he does, his loan officering. Actually, I don't know what that's for. What, what, what is it going to be? Like, oh, no, someone's robbing me. Hang on a minute. Let me pop my trunk. Let me get my case out. Let me get my bag out. Let me unzip and get my gun. Hey, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? Not much for defense. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. some Florida laws. Weird. They may have a fancy of going out in a blaze of glory. They may have a fantasy of harming somebody when they go out. You just don't know. True. Sinned pleaded not guilty. Not guilty. He didn't do it. Mm. He, he didn't do it. All right, after your court continuances, he decided to plead guilty to attempt to lewd and lascivious acts under 14 years of age. So he eventually pled guilty. Uh, received three years of probation, six days of cleanup, and lifetime registered sex offender. For a short time period, mid-2020, he was in violation of his requirements as a registered sex offender and now works as a consultant for a cannabis company. Hey, mm -hmm. all right. So what did he do for violation? You know, did he not report? Yeah, maybe. Like, I know there's fines with it, too, like fees. So you got to pay X amount. Working at the cannabis company, he's like, don't forget, I'm going to lick you. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it's just my catchphrase, you know. <laughs> it's as thin as one of the rare instances where the Predator's life has actually improved since his appearance on the show. He is now completely bald. <laughs> wow. So you think this is that rare case where they were like, you know what? Not doing that again ever. Yeah. Well, hey, maybe, maybe it's got a good ending to it, you know. I mean, of course, of course like the, the him showing up and everything is like... Right. <laughs> bad but I, I like to believe that people can change for the better and uh it seems like he did i don't know like what he did to break his uh probation pr uh whatever his 
Yeah, pro, whatever he was on. Uh, but looks like everything's going pretty well for him. I mean, he's bald now, so he got rid of that bun. That thank line. God. <laughs> yeah, and and hopefully he's learned his lesson and will never put anyone in danger like that again. So let us know what you think in the comment section. Leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. If today's your birthday, happy birthday. Stay close to my friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. I'm going to lick you.